sparkling white sun, affluent hotels, lush greenery, deep blue waters. This is all true about Diani. Diani's endowment provides bread on the table for its people. It's managed to retain the majority of its essence despite the large number of tourists it welcomes every year. It's difficult not to get charmed by its walloping 25-kilometer beach stretch. Whether you're looking to relax in the sun, go snorkeling, dive out of a plane, or experience its nightlife, Dian has something for everyone. Now let's talk about the things to do in Diani. Gallo Beach comes is our favorite recommendation of the 25 kilometers beach stretch for a good reason. Gallo is one of the most accessible beaches on this stretch. With its white sun and crystal clear waters, it's the perfect place to relax and soak up the sun. You will observe a wide array of activities from fishermen rowing in their boats, to beach lovers strolling at sunrise, to athletes jogging on the beach. Visiting Galu Beach is a tradition, but to truly capture its essence, you need to arrive early or later in the day when the sun is softest and warmest. Behind its warm waters and steady winds make it an excellent place for water sport. If you're looking for an adrenaline-filled afternoon or morning in Diani, be sure to rent a jet ski and drift through the deep blue ocean waters. Diani is home to a variety of wildlife and nature experiences, including Shimba Hills National Reserve, which is home to a variety of wildlife including elephants, giraffes, and buffalo. In addition to the diverse flora and fauna found at Chimba Hills, it's also home to the Sheldrick Waterfall which features a 21-meter cascade. The waterfall is accessed through a 2-kilometer long hiking trail where you will be escorted by a wildlife ranger. This foot trail takes you through grasslands, bushes, streams, and the forest before getting to the waterfall. Although not technically in Diani, Shimba Hills is an easy day trip from Dianibi, as it's located only 43 kilometers from Ukunda. In the dry season, you don't need a four-wheel drive vehicle to access the reserve. The reserve is managed by Kenya Wildlife Service, which means affordable access fees. The Gazi Women Mangrove Boardwalk is located approximately 18 kilometers south of Ukunda. It's a community-led initiative that showcases the importance of mangroves in the coastal ecosystem. The boardwalk takes you through the mangrove forest and offers spectacular views of the surrounding seaside landscape. To top things off, you won't break your bank visiting this attraction. Entry charges are only 200 Kenyan shillings per adult. Whether you explore it on land or while floating on the estuary's waters, the Congo River estuary is a breathtaking destination. The beach's shape is ever-changing with tides, and the river winds its way through the mangrove jungle. To fully experience its magic, we went on a sunset boat ride. The wooden boats were rowed using wooden oars, which made for a calming experience as we made our way up and down the estuary. The best part of this lesser known attraction is that it's easily accessible from any part of Diani and can be found on the maps. Waseni Island lies on the southern coast of Kenya, three kilometers off the coast of the Indian Ocean. It's popularly accessed from Shimoni, which is an old slave trade town 82 kilometers from Mombasa and 51 kilometers from Ukunda. Wasini Island is surrounded by coral reefs which provide a beautiful underwater world. Besides being a top snorkeling and diving area, Wasini is home to two species of dolphins. 
the gregarious dolphin and the more elusive humpback dolphin. Both species can be spotted in the waters close to Shimoni's shore. The boat ride takes about one hour. After snorkeling, the boat team takes you for lunch at a restaurant on Wasini Island before returning to shore as the crew chants nostalgic classic Swahili favorites. for your Diani experience, call Blue Chip Aviation Safaris today to customize your travel plan and discover all that this beautiful destination has to offer. We've created an e-book that also includes the nightlife and dining options to expect in Diani. Be sure to check it using the link in the description box.